Warm welcome you all to channel Meet MIT that is math is tricky. Warm welcome you all to channel Meet MIT that is math is tricky. In this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks about integration. I'll be solving some problems based on definite integral. Okay, so let's see here. First problem is here question number one. You can see here question number one is integration from 1 to 0 to 1 x square plus 5 and dx okay so you have to integrate this so don't worry it's very simple as previous as indefinite integral we can integrate this at last only we have to just substitute the value of x so it is simply integration of x square is x cubed by 3 plus 5 x integration of 5 is here so now put the value from 0 to 1 so how much we get so put here x equals 1 first 1 cube by 3 plus 5 into 1 minus put 0 so it will be 0 and 0 so how much we get here 1 by 3 plus 5 and it will be 15 plus 1 16 by 3 that equals 5 whole fraction 1 by 3 that's our answer isn't it easy so it's very simple my dear students please just remember how do we calculate indefinite integral so just follow that method and then after that at last we substitute the value of x first upper limit and then minus lower limit to get the final answer okay so, so integration from 0 to minus 1 dx by x plus 2 okay so we know that integration of 1 by x is log x so we can write here log x plus 2 this is the integration of 1 by x plus 2 and then range is from 0 to minus 1 so let's put here first minus 1 so log minus 1 plus 2 then minus now lower limit log x equals 0 plus 2 so how much do we get here so log 1 and minus log 2 so log 1 is 0 so 0 minus log 2 so that answer will be minus log since log 1 is 0 this is our answer or also we can simplify further maybe uh, if it is multiple choice question so answer may be like this also so log 2 power minus 1 so log 1 by 2 also may be there so this or this both are your correct answer okay let's see question number 3 number 3 hope you understand whatever I'm doing here my dear students it's all about the practice and if you know the concepts if you know the definitions if you know the formula you need to just practice to get the correct answer number three integration from one to two e power two x square minus one times two x dx okay so in this case uh, the power of e is other than x so we we have to use substitution method put here y equals 2x square minus 1 then find dy by dx hope you remember this method hope you remember uh, how do we calculate such type of integration so it is here 4x now find the value of dx dx equals dy by dy by 4x also while changing the limit also we have to change the value of we have changed the variable so we have to change the limit also so when x equals 1 what is the value of y you find here so 2 into 1 is square minus so 2 minus 1 is 1 when x equals 2 find the value of y so it is here 2 into 2 is square minus 1 4 to the 8 minus 1 7 so now and the question becomes now the question is here from 1 to 7 so for 1 we have 1 so replace 1 by 1 and for 2 we have 7 so 1 to 7 replace 2 by 7 and now question becomes e to the power y into 2x dy is how much here sorry dx the value of dx is dy by 4x and if we cancel here it is here simply let me write the answer now uh, we can write here this we have the answer is 
so 1 2 7 a power y and dy by 2 so integration is uy by 2 and then range is from 1 to 7 so that will get here e power 7 minus e power 1 by 2 we can take e common so e power 6 minus 1 by 2 will be your answer final answer okay so you understood this e power 7 minus 1 or we can take e as common so e power 6 minus 1 by 2 this is our final answer let's move to question number 4 number 4 it's very easy just we need to calculate the independent integral and then substitute the value number 4 let's see question number 4 so it is here from minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 cos d dt so in integration is simply integration of cos is sine so sine d from minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 so simply it is here sine pi by 3 minus sine pi by 3 minus here so it is sine 60 means root 3 by 2 and minus minus plus sine 60 again here right here so root 3 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 answer is root 3 this is our answer hope you understood this Thank you so much. It's very simple. I have chosen all the questions that are being asked in exam, previous exam, so question number five. So my dear students, these all the questions are from previous board exams, maybe from HS E B or maybe from T U exams. So question number five is here. Number five. Question number five is zero to pi by four integration from zero to pi by four and then dx by 1 minus sin x okay so see carefully so now in this case we'll use method of rationalization so that we'll get here 1 plus sin x by 1 plus sin x and then let's find the integration so it will be here 1 plus sin x and then dx by it is here a plus b a minus b formula 1 minus sin square x that is cos square x so we can write this as 0 to pi by 4 now separate this one by cos square x is sec square x plus 1 by uh, sin x by sin x by cos x and then 1 by cos x dx so that will be getting a, this as a pi by 4 0 to pi by 4 sec square x and then plus it is here sine sec x and times tan x now we have integration for both terms so now we'll write here sec square integration of sec square x is tan x and then integration of sec x tan x is sec x so now put the limit to get the answer pi by 4 first so pi by 4 tan pi by 4 that is pi by 4 means 45 degrees so sec pi by 4 and plus 10 0 means 0 and sec 0 is 1 so we have to subtract this minus and then minus upper limit minus lower limit we have to put the upper limit first and then subtract lower limit to get answer so it is at pi by 4 means 10 pi by 4 it's 1 plus sec pi by 4 means sec 45 degree it is here root 2 minus 1 so 1 1 cancel and then answer is here root 2 this is our answer also i have written answer so that easily uh, we can verify the answer and now i will move to question number 6 question number 6 is here so 0 to pi by 2 and dx by integration 1 plus sin x is okay so from 0 to pi by 2 dx 1 plus sin x dx by 1 plus sin x this is our question now we are going to integrate this again as before in this case we'll use the method of rationalization and while doing rationalization my dear students please be careful the function must be continuous in the given range from 0 to pi by 2 uh, this denominator is not going to be 
zero that means it will not take any indeterminate form any indeterminate form so we can decimalize here so 1 minus see here 1 minus sine x and here 1 minus sine x if we rationalize like this look here if we are going to rationalize in this way so it is so, yeah, so it will take here sine x if you put here as 90 so it is going to be 0 by 0 it will be uh, it is going to be 0 by 0 so that means it will give 0 by 0 forms because sine 90 if you put here sine 90 that is pi by 2 isn't it sine pi by 2 like sine 90 equals 1 and then it will give here 0 by 0 form so we are not allowed to rationalize in this case so what should you do in this case we have to use previous, uh, another method so let's see here what we are going to do so for this we will not use the method of rationalization we will start in this way so let's see here how can we solve this so for this 0 2 pi by 2 we can write in this way dx by 1 plus let's change sine into cos so cos pi by 2 minus x we can write and now we have the formula for this so we have to pi by 2 1 plus 1 plus cos 2a formula so it will be here 2 cos square a and for 1 plus cos a it is simply 2 cos square a by 2 by using this formula we will have 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus cos a means 2 cos square a by 2 cos square a by 2 means it is here pi by 4 minus x by 2 hope you understood why we didn't use the method of decimalization okay so because it will take indeterminate form 0 by 0 so now what we can write here after this it is going to be here so we can write here cos means sec square sec square pi by 4 minus x by 2 by 2 and then dx so let's say I put here put pi by 4 minus x by 2 as y then we'll get here dy by dx equals minus 1 by 2 therefore dx equals almost dx equals minus 2 dy now we have to change the limit also so let's let me rub this and then undo the complete solution so how much when when x equals 0 x equals 0 put here 0 so y equals how much pi by 4 x equals 0 means pi by 4 when x equals pi by 2 y becomes put here pi by x equals pi by 2 means y will be simply here pi by 4 minus x equals pi by 2 means pi by 4 becomes 0 so it will be 0 now now the question becomes here 0 to 0 means pi by 4 so pi by 4 to pi by 2 means 0 now dx is minus 2 dy and then what was there so dx and then dy by 2 and then the value of it was here 1 by 2 was there and then sec square pi by so sec square y 2 and 2 cancel we have now zero is minus sec square integration of sec square zero, pi by 4 to 0 sec square y dy and it is simply here minus 10 y from pi by 4 to 0 so what will be its answer minus so first put 10 0 means here 10 0 minus 10 pi by 4 and it's simply here so minus times 0 minus 1 so answer is 1 so our final answer is here for this answer is therefore we can write here 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus sine x equals 1 this is our answer
it is uh, yeah, question number 6, this is the solution for question number 6, hope you understood this, now move to question number 7, number 7 is here, number 7 integration from 0 to pi, integration from 0 to pi square root of 1 plus cos x dx, ok, so it's very simple, let's start, first thing you have to Oh, first thing we have to do is let's remove the root how can we remove the root so we can have again formula 1 plus cos a means 2 cos a square a by 2 a square root is there so put here dx this is how we solve the problem so it is here simply root 2 outside and then cos a square x means simply it is 0 to pi and then the question is here yeah that's fine so simply it will be cos x by to dx and we know a integration of cos x is sine x by 2 and this will divide 1 by 2 in denominator coefficient of x will be 0 to pi so how much we get here root 2 so it will be 2 outside 2 root 2 and then how much so let's, let's put here so sine pi by 2 minus sine 0 and it is simply here 2 root 2 times sine pi by 2 means 1, 1 minus here. Yeah, that's our answer is 2 root 2. This is our answer. Okay, hope you are getting this. My dear students, once again, uh, I want to remind you that from first I'm telling that yes, ma mathematics can be understood and we can understand mathematics. We can make you understand, you can understand, and we can excel in mathematics for this. The key point is, or the formula is, you have to practice and practice. Okay, my dear students, let's move to question number 8. Okay, so let's simplify this way from 0 to pi by 4, 10x into 10 square x dx. Then we can write here from 0 to pi by 4, 10x times sec square x minus 1 dx and now if we further simplify so we can write like this 10x into sec square x minus 10x dx so now we can have the integration for both so now we can take it both terms so it is here simply 10 square x by 2 minus we can write here uh, minus minus log cos x and then from 0 to pi by 4 as derivative of 10x is given here so I have used direct formula so it is simply if we put here 1 by 2 because 10 pi by 4 is 1 and minus minus plus here log cos plus here log cos pi by 4 means cos 1 by cos pi by 4 minus 1 by root 2 minus 0 then minus so it will be here cos 0 means log 1 means 0 which we are getting here 1 by 2 minus log here we can write this as log how much here so it is simply no, root 2 and then if you simplify further we will be getting answer like this so it is here 1 by 2 minus log root 2 means 2 power 1 by 2 so it is here 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 log 2 and finally we will be getting here 1 by 2 come on so 1 minus log 2 this is our answer okay so yeah. So, integration from 0 to pi by 4, integration from 0 to pi by 4, question number 9, 0 to pi by 4, 10 square x, 6 square x, and dx. So, what we can do here, right, let's write like this. So, from 0 to pi by 4, 10 square x into 6 square x and 6 square x dx. So now we can write like this so from 0 to pi by 4 
and then here 10 square x 1 plus 10 square x and then sec square x as it is dx so now see what we are getting here so 0 to pi by 4 here and then it is here 10 square x plus 10 4x sec square x dx now if we separate this it will be just sum of two integrals so 10 square x 10 power 4x in its derivative is here so we can directly write here for this we can put let okay let's put here put 10x equals y then dy by dx will be sec square x okay so therefore dx will be dy by sec square x now after that after that we'll get like this here so let's change the limit also so when x equals 0 x equals 0 y equals 0 because tan 0 is 0 when x equals pi by 4 y will be 1 because 10 pi by 4 is 1 so now the question becomes now we can write here simply now integration from 0 to 1 integer y square plus y power 4 and then it is here it is sec square x dx means dy so now we have the answer let's integrate this it is simply y cube by 3 plus y power 5 by 5 from 0 to 1 so it is here let's put first one so 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 0 minus 0 so it is here 5 plus 3 5 plus 3 by 15 that is 8 by 15 is our answer okay so now is number 10 let's move to question number 10 question number 10 is here number 10 is uh, integration from 0 to integration from 0 to pi integration from 0 to pi x sin square x x sin square x dx so we write like this from 0 to pi so it is simply here sin square x means we can write x 1 plus sorry 1 minus cos 2a 1 minus cos 2x by 2 and dx so that it will be here from 0 to pi x by 2 dx minus 1 by 2 0 to pi x cos 2x and dx so we have to integrate in this way so that will be getting answer as here 1 by 2 and then x square by 2 from 0 to pi minus 1 by 2 let's see here and first function integration of second function integration will be sine 2x by 2 and then limit from 0 to pi minus integration from 0 to pi and derivative of first function integration of second function is sine 2x by 2 and then dx okay so it is simply here 1 by 4 and then pi square minus 0 minus 1 by 2 outside so if you put here x equals pi and then sin 0 it is 0 minus 0 simply uh, you can do by yourself also 1 by 2 outside and it is sine so integration will be minus so it is here plus cos 2x by 2 from 0 to pi okay so now let's simplify to get the final answer so our final answer will be here 1 by 4 it is simply here 0 so pi is so pi square by 4 minus this is 0 so 1 by 
4 to the 8, 1 by 8, and from cos 2 pi cos 2 pi minus cos 0. So how much we are getting here? Pi a square by 4 minus, it is here, 1 by 8 cos 2 pi is simply here cos 2 pi so cos 2 pi is 360 360 means 1 1 minus cos 0 is 1 so answer will be here pi a square by 4 and minus 0 so simply here answer this is this is our answer because cos 2 pi is 1 360 here and cos 0 is 1 1 minus 1 0 so pi a square by 4 is our answer question number 11 0 to pi integration from 0 to pi x cos square x dx so as before we can write here same so 0 to pi x 1 plus cos 2x and dx by 2 so it is here simply 1 by 2 integration from 0 to pi and then x dx and then plus 1 by 2 integration from 0 to pi and x cos 2x dx so now it is simply here 1 by 2 and then x square by 2 from 0 to pi plus 1 by 2 and then here first function integration of second function is here sine 2x by 2 from 0 to pi minus integration from 0 to pi derivative of first function 1 into integration of second function sine 2x by 2 dx okay so it is here pi square by 4 simply pi square by 4 and plus 1 by 2 0 minus 0 and then here 1 by 2 from integration of this is minus cos 2x by 2 from 0 to pi pi by pi square by 4 and minus minus it will be plus here so 1 by 8 and from cos 2x its value from 0 to pi and then we will have the answer final answer is see here so answer will be here pi square by 4 plus 1 by 8 and if you put here so it will be simply cos cos 360 2 pi minus cos 0 and again here answer will be pi a square by 4 plus 1 by 8 into 0 so answer will be pi a square by 4 thank you so much let's see question number 12 question number 12 is here question number 12 is integration from 0 to 1 by 2 dx by 1 minus x square under root so here let's put here put x equals sine theta so that we'll get here dx by d theta equals derivative of sine is cos theta so that we can write here dx equals cos theta d theta okay and when x equals 0 x equals 0 theta when x equals 0 so this here 0 equals sine theta so implies theta equals also 0 equals 0 so simply when x equals now similarly uh, when x equals 1 by 2 theta will be 1 by 2 equals 1 by 2 equals sine theta and sine means it is here sine 30 degree degree so we can write here sine pi by 6 so here theta equals pi by 6 now the question becomes from 0 to pi by 6 and then dx means cos theta d theta by square root of 1 minus x means sine square theta and it is simply here 0 to pi by 6 cos theta by 
cos theta because 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta and the square root will be given this cos theta and d theta. So this cancel and then answer will be simply theta from 0 to pi by 6 and it gives here pi by 6 minus 0 equals pi by 6 is your answer. This is our answer pi by 6. Now let's see question number 13. Question number 13 is here. My dear students, please you need to practice and practice focus on your calculation. Remember the formula and practice number 13. Question number 13 is from 0 to 1. Integration from 0 to 1 dx by 1 plus x square. We have to find as before. Let's put here put x equals tan theta. Then dx will be sec square theta d theta when x equals 0 theta will be 0 when x equals 1 theta will be pi by 4 45 degree means 1 so now the question becomes from 0 to pi by 4 and then it is here dx means sec square theta d theta by 1 plus 10 square theta that is sec square theta so it is simply 0 to pi by 4 sec square sec square cancel so we have d theta so answer will be theta integration from 0 to pi by 4 which gives here pi by 4 minus 0 equals pi by 4 this is our correct answer now move to question number 14 let's see here question number 14 number 14 is here and it is from 0 to pi by 2 cos x whole divide 1 plus sine square x dx okay so what we can do here in this case this derivative of we can write like this so 0 to pi by 2 cos x by 1 plus 1 square plus sin x whole square so we can put like this put here sin x equals y then dy by dx equals cos x and then we can write here therefore dx equals how much dx equals dy by cos so we are putting here cos y is it cos x cos x hello okay let's see here so dx will be uh, dy by dx now the question becomes here we can show okay and then let's change the limit also when x equals 0 x equals 0 y equals 0 when x equals pi by 2 y equals 1 so now now we can write here now the question is from 0 to 1 and it is simply here let's put here so dx is x dx is here simply dy dy by 1 plus y square and then so again we'll put here again we we'll put here again put here put y equals 10 theta then dy by theta equals to sec square theta when y equals 0 theta will be 0 y equals 1 theta will be pi by 4 thus we have now 0 to pi by 4 and simply it will be here dy means sec square theta sec square theta d theta by 
1 plus 10 squared theta, these two cancel, this is theta from 0 to pi by 4, answer will be pi by 4 minus theta equals pi by 4, this is our answer, question number 14. Now let's move to question number 15. Question number 15 is here, let me show for you, question number, and explain it. So question number 15 is, integration from 0 to minus 1, dx by 4 minus x square square root. This is our question. So we put here, put x equals 2 sine theta, then dx by d theta will be 2 cos theta therefore dx equals 2 cos theta d theta when x equals 0 theta equals 0 and when x equals minus 1 theta will be so here minus 1 equals 2 sine theta equals minus 1 by 2 equals sine theta so we can write here simply theta equals sine minus pi by 3 because sine 30 is oh sorry pi by 6 30 minus 30 sine minus 30 is minus sine 30 so it will be here minus pi by 6 now let's simplify to get the answer now the question becomes here 0 to minus pi by 6 dx means 2 cos theta by 4 minus 4 sine square theta and if we simplify we'll get here minus pi by 6 2 cos theta d theta by 2 is common so minus n here cos theta cancel so it is here simply theta and range from 0 to minus pi by 6 so answer will be simply here minus pi by 6 minus 0 and that is minus pi by 6 this is our answer question number 15 let's move to question number 16 number 16 is here question number 16 from 0 to a dx by a square plus x square put here x equals a tan theta then dx will be a sec square theta d theta when x equals 0 theta will be 0 and when x equals a theta will be pi by 4. Now the question becomes from 0 to pi by 4 and dx means a sec square theta d theta and it is here a square plus a square tan square theta which gives 0 to pi by 4 a sec square theta d theta by a square 1 plus 10 square means sec square theta. This cancel 1 by a d theta means theta from 0 to pi by 4. So answer will be pi by 4 a. It's here. Okay. Integration from 1 to a ln x dx. So for this we'll uh, use like this here ln x into 1 will write like this 1 2 a and dx so for this we have to use integration by parts so first function into integration second function is this and minus so we put here limit from 1 to minus integration of uh, derivative of first function uh, it is here 1 by x integration second function x and dx so it is here put e so ln e into e minus 
ln1 into 1 first is this one minus x from 1 to a how much is uh, a log of e this e is here 1 1 into a minus log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 minus a minus 1 so much we are getting here a minus a and then plus 1 so answer will be 1 answer is 1 17 number is this now let's move to question number 18 question number 18 my dear students i'm solving all the problems or based on different integral and i have chosen all i have taken all the questions from previous exams so question number 18 is here from 0 to 3 by 2 dx by 1 minus x square and square root okay so here we'll put here x equals put x equals sine theta so that then dx will be cos theta d theta and when x equals less than the limit x equals 0 theta will be 0 and when x equals root 3 by 2 theta will be yeah, root 3 by 60 degree pi by 3 now the question becomes here from 0 to pi by 3 dx means cos theta d theta by 1 minus sin square theta so it is here simply cos theta minus sin square theta means cos square theta cos theta and cancel so answer will be integration from pi by 3 to and d theta answer theta from 0 to pi by 3 so that answer will be pi by 3 minus 0 that is pi by 3 this is our answer it is now let's move Integration from 0 to pi by 2 cos theta d theta by 1 minus sin theta square root. So put here put y equals 1 minus sin theta then dy by d theta will be minus cos theta and then we can write here d theta equals how much minus dy by cos theta and when theta equals 0 y equals how much 1 and then when theta equals pi by 2 y will be this is sine 91 minus 1 0 now the question becomes here 0 to 0 for 0 we have 1 so 1 to 0 and here it is cos theta uh, d theta means dy by cos theta minus and then root y cancel so we have now minus 1 to 0 dy y to the power minus 1 by 2 root means power 1 by 2 so we can get this is as uh, minus y to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 minus now let's simplify to get the answer so that we'll be getting answer as our final answer will be minus this is here 1 by 2 so 2 times y to the power 1 by 2 means here root and it is 1 2 0 so 1 2 0 and it is how much now let's put here first minus 2 it means here root 0 minus root 1 so it gives here minus 2 0 minus 1 answer is minus 2 into minus 1 it gives here 2 this is our answer okay let's move to question number 20 number 20 question number 20 Question number 20 is here. Question number 20 is integration from 1 to integration from 1 to 2 sine log t by t times dt. Okay, so in this case also we'll solve like this. 
So let's put here, put y equals log t, then dy by dt will be 1 by t, therefore dt equals t dy. When t equals 1, y will be log 1 that is 0. When t equals 2, it will be y will be log 2. Now the question becomes it is 0 to, you can put here 0 to log 2 and sine y log t is y by dt is t dy by t t and t cancel so we have here integration of sine is minus cos y from 0 to log 2 so we should get here minus log 2 minus minus sorry here this is minus cos log 2 minus minus cos y 0 so it will be here minus log minus cos log 2 minus cos log 2 minus minus plus cos 0 is 1 so it is here simply 1 minus cos log 2 this is our answer Okay, so let's see question number 21. It can be written as here 1 by 2 times from indication from 0 to pi by 3 to sine 2 theta cos theta d theta. Okay, so it can be written as here 2 1 by 2 integration from 0 to pi by 3 and sine 3 theta plus sine theta d theta because the, we have one formula 2 sine a cos b equals sine a plus b plus sine a minus b by using this formula we'll have this answer now if we integrate this we'll get here 1 by 2 from integration from here to be minus cos 3 theta by 3 minus cos theta and from 0 to pi by 3 limit. Now let's simplify this to get the answer. It will be simply here minus 1 by 2 put here. So minus 1 by 2 means it is plus here cos 3 theta by 3 plus uh, cos theta 0 to from 0 to pi by 3. So minus 1 by 2 put here cos it is here pi by 3 plus cos pi by 3 minus cos 0 by 3 minus cos 0. Let's simplify and write the answer. So how much will get here? It is here minus 1 by 2. Is minus 1 by 3 pi by 3 is 1 by 2 cos pi by 3 we said minus 1 by 3 and minus 1 so that will get here minus 1 by 2 minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 so let's multiply so it will be here 1 by 1 by 3 and plus 1 by so answer will be 7 by 2 L. This is our answer. Now let's move to question number 22. Integration from 0 to pi by 4, 22, 0 to 
cos cube x into sin square x dx. So we can write like this, let's change like this. We can write the given question is cos x into cos square means 1 minus sin square x times sin square x dx. So it will be here simply 0 to pi by 4 cos x and sin square x minus sin 4x dx. If we put here, put sin x equals y then dy by dx will be cos x cos x that means therefore dx equals dy by cos x when 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 x equals 0 y equals 0 and when x equals pi by 4 y will be 1 by root 2 now the question becomes here so let's see here now the question will be we can write the question as now question will be here 0 to from 0 to 1 by root 2 and then it will be here cos x cos x it is y square minus y power 4 dx means dy by cos x cos x cos x cancel so now we have the answer so by integration we will get here y cube by 3 minus y power 5 by 5 from 0 to 1 by root 2 it is here 1 by root 2 whole cube by 3 minus 1 by root 2 whole power 5 by 5 minus 0 minus 0 so it is here 1 by root 2 whole cube is 2 root 2 1 by 6 root 2 minus it is a power 5 means it is 1 by 4 uh, root 2 into 5 answer will be simply if we take here root 2 comma then 1 by 6 minus 1 by 20 so it will be here 20 here LCM is here 620 minus 6 by 120 into 1 by root 2 so by simplification we will get answer as here 14 by 120 into 1 by root 2 we can cut this by 60 by 2 and save it so 7 by 60 root 2 is your answer okay this is 22 number now move to question number 23 question number 23 now question number 23 from integration from 0 to pi by 2 1 plus cos x whole square sin x dx okay so put here for this y equals 1 plus cos x then dy by dx will be minus sin x therefore dx will be minus dy by sin x and when x equals 0 y equals x 0 means 1 plus 1 2 and then when x equals pi by 2 so it will be 0 and plus 1 y equals 1 now the question becomes from 2 to 1 y square and sin x times dx means dy by minus sin x is in this answer now we have answer see here so it becomes from 2 to 1 minus outside y square dy and integration will be minus 
y cube by minus y cube by 3 from 2 to 1. So if we put here minus 1 by 3 minus 8 by 3. So by simplification we will get here minus minus 7 by 3 which gives 7 by 3 is here and so this is our answer question number 23 we have completed now we move to number 24 integration from 1 to a integration from 1 to e x log x dx so okay so we have to check whether it is in order or not so i l a d e this is the order so log should be first whereas like this it is first log x into x and then from 1 to a dx according to this order so now we can use formula so we get here first function into integration of second function 1 to a minus integration from 1 to e and derivative of first function 1 by x integration of second function x squared by 2 dx this and this cancel so we have now log e log e minus e squared sorry log e into e squared by 2 minus log 1 is 0 so right log 1 is 0 minus what is the integration here now 1 by 2 outside x is there so x is squared by 2 from 1 to a so let's put here log e is 1 e squared by 2 minus 1 by 4 and here it is e squared minus 1 so if we simplify we'll get answer minus is there so e squared by 2 minus e squared by 4 plus 1 by 4. So let's see how much we are getting. What is your final answer? So if we simplify further, we we'll get here this as 4 is your LCM and then so it will be 2, 2 e squared minus e squared plus 1. So e squared plus 1 by 4 is your answer. No doubt. Uh, log I have used not I have used log e as one and log one as zero. Okay. Now question number twenty five. Let's move to question number twenty five. Question number twenty five is twenty four. Finish twenty five. Integration from zero to one. Integration x e power x dx so it must be like an order i l a d e it is in order so first function integration of second function from 0 to 1 minus integration from 0 to 1 derivative of first function integration of second function dx so if you put here 1 1 into e power 1 minus uh, 0 is so 0 right here right. minus e power x integration from 0 to 1 so it will be simply e and now so minus e power 1 minus e power 0 so we will get here e minus e minus minus plus 1 so answer will be 1 this is our answer 25 number Let's move to question number 26. Question number 26. 26. Integration from pi to pi by 2 x cos x dx. Okay. So, again, okay, let's see here whether it is in order or not. So, algebraic first, trigonometric second. So, it's fine. First function, integration of second function is sin x from pi to pi by 2 
minus. No, this is you what I said. Just using by formula, we can write here first function, integration of second function. So, integration of cos x is sin x. Now, uh, integration minus by formula from pi to pi by 2. And then, a derivative of first is here. 1, integration is sin x yeah. dx. So, now let's put here pi by 2 into sin pi by 2 minus pi sin pi minus integration of sin x is minus cos x so it will be here cos x from pi to pi by 2 so it is going to be here pi by 2 minus 0 so we will write plus here cos pi by 2 minus cos pi so as you get here, no. pi by 2 plus it is here cos pi by 2 means 0 and here minus 1. So here it is just 1 simply 1. No, this no, is your no. answer. Okay, pi by 2 no. plus 1 is your answer. Let's move to question number 27. 27 is here. Well, question number 27. Twenty-seven is here. Integration from zero to one. Uh, cos square by x dx. Okay. So we have formula one by two from zero to one to cos square by x dx. Now for this we can write here one by two and uh, two cos square a. For two cos square we have formula one plus cos two a. And then we can integrate easily to get the answer. Okay, so now let's integrate 1 by 2 is outside. Integration of dx is x, and integration of cos x is sin x, sin 2 pi x by 2 pi from 0 to 1. Let's put here so 1 by 2, 1 plus here if you put here 1 x equals 2 pi means 0 minus 0 minus 0 so answer will be simply 1 by 2 this is our answer uh, we have one formula uh, sin 3a equals 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a and it gives here uh, sin cube a equals 3 sin a minus sin 3a by yeah, 4. So we can write here 1 by 4 outside. Integration from 0 to pi by 2. Then 3 sin x minus sin 3x dx. Okay, so if we integrate this, we get inside as 1 by 4 outside and then 3 minus 3 cos x plus cos 3x by 3 integration from 0 to pi by 2 let's put the value here so 1 by 4 outside now put here minus cos 19 is 0 plus 3 cos here 3 into 19 is 270 is also 0 0 by 3 minus here minus minus plus 3 cos 0 means 1 into 1 minus here cos 0 minus 1 1 by 3 as you get here so 1 by 4 this is 3 minus 1 by 3 9 minus 1 8 by 4 into 3 so 2 so answer is 2 by 3 let's say question number 29 question number 29 is here Question number 29 is integration from 0 to a x square root of a square plus x square dx. Okay, so for this put y equals a square plus x square 
then we get here dy by dx equals 2x and therefore dx will be dy by 2x and when x equals 0 x equals 0 y will be a square when x equals a y will be 2a square now the question becomes uh, a square to 2a square x root y and dx is dy by 2x x and x cancel so it will be simply here 1 by 2 integration of root y means y power 1 by 2 plus 1 1 by 2 plus 1 and then integration from a to sorry a square to to a square Let's simplify and find the final answer so 1 by 2 is outside and then if we put here the value of it is how much a y power 3 mm -hmm. by 2 and it is here 3 by 2 so it will be 3 by 2 so it is 2 by 3 we can cut this so 1 by 3 outside now limit is from a square to 2a square now put here y means 2a square whole power 3 by 2 minus a square whole power 3 by 2 is this cancel now let's simplify to get answer so how much is your answer if you simplify 1 by 3 here it is 2 power 3 by 2 into a cube minus a cube so it is here 1 by 3 a cube is outside uh, a power 3 by 2 is 2 root 2 minus 1 this is our answer the question number 30 let's see the question number 30 question number 30 question number 30 here integration from 0 to a x dx by a square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 so put again uh, y equals a square plus x square then we we'll get here dy by dx equals 2x therefore we can write here dx equals dy by 2x and when x equals 0 y square y will be a square and x equals a y will be 2a square now the question becomes yeah, from, from here uh, from question we can write here a square to 2a square and it will be simply x dx means dy by 2x x and x cancel by y power 3 by 2 let's simplify and write the answer so that we'll be getting as here we can write this equals 1 by 2 outside and then how much is there uh, integration from 0 to sorry a square to 2a square the value of y is here minus 3 by 2 dy and it gives here 1 by 2 y power minus 3 by 2 plus 1 and minus 3 by 2 plus 1 limit is from a square to 2a square let's simplify get the answer okay it is simply here 1 by 2 it is here minus 3 plus minus 3 minus 3 plus 2 by 2 it's minus 1 by 2 so it is here minus 1 by 2 and then remaining is y power minus 1 by 2 a square 2 to a square simply here it is minus outside 1 by root y and a square 2 to a square so let's simplify and get the answer final answer it will be minus 1 by root 2a means root 2 times a 
minus 1 by a. If we simplify, we will get here this is 1 by a minus 1 by root a 2 root a. So if we take here 1 by a common, so it will be there root 2 minus 1 by root 2. This is our answer. Hope you understood. And if you have any confusion, please share with me. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like this video. Please do share this video with your friends in your circle, in your social media. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. God bless you.